How to invest in real estate with less than $20,000. My name is Darius. And I'm Carmen. And we teach entrepreneurs and high achievers how to own their own lifestyle. So make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified every single time we come out with brand new videos. And also check us out on Patreon because Patreon is where we actually show you the detailed steps of everything that we talk about on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And we are going to take this same topic that we talk about today and put it on Patreon for you to see this week. So head on over to Patreon after this video so that you can learn all the details of everything that we talk about. According to people like Robert Kiyosaki and Grant Cardone, real estate investing is one of the best ways to get rich. So one bit of advice I would have for you is to find a niche within real estate and become an expert at that particular niche. Yeah, but how do you become an expert in real estate if you don't even really know what you're doing in the first place? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna basically share with you some things that we've done that have been successful within real estate and we didn't need a lot of money in order to do it. So one thing that I would definitely say, if you wanna get involved in real estate, you have to network. Yes. And you really have to be able to understand who are the key real estate investors in your city that are actually doing the deals. Because those are the individuals that you wanna link up with and you wanna sift through all the imposters out out there who say they're doing real estate but really aren't right the strategy isn't to mirror exactly what they're doing because they're already successful at that mm -hmm. but to find what the pain point is and provide a solution to what that pain point is oh yeah add value to add, that real estate investor. add value to that real estate investor mm -hmm. and what we learned is that when investing in real estate the banks consider it risky business so they aren't able to get traditional financing mm -hmm. what that means is they have to go to third party lenders like hard money lenders or private investors or private lenders like you and I to get financing. Mm -hmm. now, and just to clarify, what a hard money lender is, is it's not Wells Fargo or, well, or, or Bank of America, for example. It's a private financing institution that lends deals on real estate, for example, but their interest rates are significantly elevated. Mm -hmm. So it makes the cost of investing very expensive for investors. And then like Darius said, private money lenders are people like you and I, people who just have cash that they're sitting on and who want to get involved in real estate. In most cases, that hard money lender is only going to lend about 70 to 80% of the value, the potential value of that property. Mm -hmm. So that leaves a gap for the investor to find another source of funding to make sure that deals go through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because say um, the value of the house is $100,000, the hard money lender is only gonna provide about 70 to $80,000. So that real estate investor still needs another 20. So that's where you come into play because you may not have $70,000, but you may have the 20 that the uh, investor needs. So we found that to be very successful for us because again, we didn't have a ton of money that we could contribute to the deals. And in fact, our first real estate deal wasn't even with our own money. We right. used OPM, but we came in with $20,000 and that was the gap that that real estate investor needed to fund his deal. And we were still able to be a part of the real estate deal, obtain interest, and to learn so much from that investor just to be involved in his flip. So then how we were able to profit since we were the middleman is we obtained money at 10% for a year's time. And we were able to take that money and flip it multiple times. So whatever money was left over after paying our real estate investor, we were able to pocket it because that was the additional interest that we received from flipping the money multiple times. Now you can also get bonus points with this, um there was this thing that this guy used on us. We asked him to borrow money and he, oh yes. There is a dividend paying whole life insurance policy that you can also use where you can borrow money and invest it in real estate. Mm -hmm. Now, remember that pain point that those other investors were having when borrowing from hard money lenders at these high interest rates? Sometimes 15%. Most of the time, 15%. 15% yeah. So you can borrow from your insurance policy at 5% simple interest, and then you can lend it to the investor at 10% simple interest in a three, four, five, six month time frame. And not only are you able to do it multiple times, but you got, you're able to provide value to that investor by offering him 
a lower interest rate than what he would have gotten if he went to a different lender. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because guess what? With that thing, what do you call that? Oh, your whole life insurance policy. Yes. Um, you're not. You're earning four percent, a guaranteed four percent, and then when you get the loan, now you can take that loan and provide it to the investor for his gap funding. Because so many people, when uh, they talk to us about real estate investing, they want to get involved, but they don't have a ton of money. Mm -hmm. So guess what? We are all coming in to the deal with value to that investor because because they need to fill the gaps. And that's exactly where you can fill the gaps with your whole life insurance policy by just using the loan at 5% and charging 10%, like Darius said. Exactly, you're able to create a mutual beneficial relationship where you are providing to the investor a lower interest rate he would have been able to borrow from a third party. Mm -hmm. And he's providing value to you by providing you a higher interest rate than what you borrow from your insurance policy. Yeah. So it's a win-win. Yeah, and guess what? You can do it again and again and again because the best part in getting involved with a seasoned real estate investor is they like to do multiple deals. Mm -hmm. So what does that mean for you? Multiple opportunities to gap fund. Yes. And you can just keep building, 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 and as they're paying you back the interest, that's also building the cash value in your policy so you can afford to do multiple deals at once. There you go. And this was our gateway to infinite banking. Mm -hmm. Because as we were looking for financing for our real estate deals, we actually borrowed money from an individual at 10% and we invested it into real estate. Mm -hmm. We later found out that he got his finances from his whole life insurance policy at 5%. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so when he told us that, we were like, what? <laughs> life insurance? Why in the world would you use life insurance to invest in real estate? And then that the, the story starts from there. So what we learned was we just started modeling what he was doing because again, he was the one giving us the money in order for us to fund our deals. So from there, we just said, okay, we're gonna do the exact same thing that he does because he has more money than we do. <laughs> right. And one little thing that I picked up is that whenever you're able to get money straight from the source, it's a lot cheaper than it would be if it has to pass through multiple hands. Mm -hmm. That's how money is becomes expensive because everyone in the chain has to be able to benefit from it. Oh yeah, everyone has to eat. Yes. So again, since you are so close to the source, meaning you can go directly to the insurance company and request a loan, they're only gonna charge you 5%. And now you take your money and give it directly to the investor and you can just undercut the hard money lenders and the other private money lenders significantly because you went straight to the source for your financing. Now I know we were talking about gap funding and not having a lot of money. This was just one example how you can actually get involved in real estate. Mm -hmm. If you have more money to invest in your policies, then great, you can fund more of the deal. But for individuals who don't have a ton of money, then gap funding is definitely the way for you to go. Absolutely, and that was our dilemma when starting our real estate investing business in Phoenix, Arizona. Mm -hmm. We did not have the money to invest 200,000, 300,000 into these properties so we had to start where we could which was gap funding mm -hmm. and keep in mind all of that money from gap funding was none of our money we were constantly fundraising and using other people's money OPM to fund our real estate deals so that's another little nugget investing in real estate without using a penny of your own money so investing in real estate can be super fun and not overwhelming as long as you understand how to play the game. So we hope that this information that we shared with you was valuable to you and maybe you can go out and start gap funding yourself. Now don't forget, if you want to actually see the step-by-step -step motion of money and how this worked with your policy, then head on over to our Patreon channel so that you can see exactly how this works. And always remember to own your own lifestyle or someone else will.